The featherweights are in the Bellator MMA cage. Tale of the tape brought to you by Dave & Buster's, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. 21 years old at 32, but look at the reach advantage that Aaron Pico has. That is a big difference. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA, presented by Miller Lite, continues now with featherweights inside the Bellator cage set for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, at five foot six, weighing in 144 pounds even, his professional record, 19 wins, eight defeats. He fights out of Okanagan, Washington, presenting Lee, the American Bulldog Morrison. And across the cage is adversary, fighting out of the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 145.7 pounds as a professional. He now stands with two victories, one defeat. He fights out of Whittier, California, introducing Aaron Pico. In charge of the action, your referee, Blake Rice. So the spotlight about to shine bright once again on the highly touted Aaron Pico. Standing in his way is Lee Morrison, riding a four-fight win streak. Looking for his 20th professional win. The bell in round one, fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Morrison at 32 gets tagged with the right hand from Pico and Morrison coming right at Pico with a right hand and a left kick and an aggressive start here to this fight. Well, he's coming after him and that's what he has to do. You can't sit back and say, well, I'm just going to try to stay in here. I've got to go after and do things to give this guy problems. And it is a fire fight to kick things off between Morrison and Pico. And Pico has yet to escape the first round. All three of his fights ending within the first five minutes, and this one could be over quick as well. The right hand by Pico on cue, and Morrison in trouble. He is in trouble. He's trying to move right now. Aaron right now should back up, let him get up. There you go. And there is the one landing the heavy shots. Maturity that belies his 21 years. Exactly, but that's what's showing you the progression of what he's doing. That was not what I would have done. That spinning kick. He's done. And another knockout for Aaron Pico. You might want to change the spelling of his last name to P-I-K-O. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. One minute, 10 seconds into round number one. The winner by TKO Aaron Pico. He is now three and one, all three victories inside the first round. Let's go to Big John. You did, brother. Aaron, the iron-fisted matador Pico. That's what I'm calling you, brother. I ain't going with cheeks, okay? That was absolutely the same body shot you have now dropped two guys in a row with. Talk to me about what he was coming after you with and your calmness in the ring. Damn, I, I mean, I'm just having so much fun out here. I'm enjoying every every everything about this sport. I've only been a pro 11 months. I have the best team in the world. But that's just a vicious left hook. His coach said that you're a, you know what, if you get if you get knocked out by a body shot, so I told my dad and my girlfriend in the hotel room, I said, I'm gonna knock him out with a body shot. So it came. Oh, it came, and it came th in a thunderous fashion. Right now, three victories in a row. What is it that you want next? Man, I want to take on the, those A guys. I, I want to get closer to the world title. I feel I'm... Uh, I'm ready for it, I'm improving, I'm getting better every day, so one step closer to being champ of the world, that's my motto, I'm one step closer to being champ of the world. Now I'm one fight closer. Well, you are definitely an example of when talent meets hard work, it comes together. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Aaron Pico. Well, I know it's been a tough day for MMA legend Al Wapa Boss Rudin, but I know he is smiling ear to ear after seeing Aaron Pico's handiwork, well, and body work.